A hyperlink is linking text or objects here within the document that when somebody clicks on it, it either takes them to another document on your computer, known as internal linking, as opposed to external, that when somebody clicks on it, it takes them out onto the World Wide Web or web page. I'll show you both. So first off, find an object or text within your document that you want to create a link to and select it, like let's do sellers, double click. That way if somebody wants to know more about the cells that are sellers made, instead of adding the text over to the right that some readers may not be interested in, I'll go ahead and create a link that opens up the other document with more details about the cells that we made. So to create a hyperlink to that other document, you can do it one of a couple of ways. First off, go ahead and select the text, and then come up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Links group, and there you go, Hyperlink. Click on it, opens up the Hyperlink window, or Close Out. With it selected, you can right-click on it, and there you go in the shortcut menu, Hyperlink. Cool. Now you get a lot of options here over to the left-hand side of what you want to link to, like an existing file or web page, so internal or external. And then a place within the document, if you've got bookmarks, headings, you can create a new document or just as an email address that when somebody clicks on it, opens up their email program and they can email you. We'll go over all of them, but first off, an existing file or web page. Let's do a file first. And that file, we have to come over here to find it. Where do you want to look in? Click on the drop down arrow and navigate throughout your computer. Well, I'm going to go to the desktop and on the desktop within the folder, is everything down below. And on my desktop, I have my Excel workbook called Hyperlinks that has a list of all the different regions or states within the United States that we made sales in. In any case, select it, and then down below you can see the address. It goes from the C drive to the users. I'm logged in as training. On the desktop, there it is, hyperlinks.xlsx, the Excel workbook. Now before I go ahead and click OK, a couple of other options you have is one, is the text to display. Now with the selection, it's pulling it in here, sellers, so let's click and drag this out of the way. There we go. Sellers, sellers. If you make a change up here, it'll update and reflect that down below. So if I delete the S and I click okie dokie, it'll go ahead and, and delete the S here and have it as seller. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's the reason why I'm showing you. So what you're doing here updates that if you need to make changes. And then when people get to this point like sellers and they see a link, you can give them a screen tip to give them a little bit of information about what they're about to click on. That is, instead of them clicking on it going, ooh, what's this? And then waste time opening it up and going, oh, I don't need that. So give them a synopsis. Let's go ahead and click on screen tip and type in. This will take you to a file that has our cells from quarter one through quarter four. So it explains it. Click okie dokie and let's see what happens with the S and no S. Click OK. It links, it got rid of the S, well we need a space here, hit the space bar. And then for the screen tip, when they hover over it, there she is. This will take you to a file that has our sales. Oh, that's fun. And then it gives you a prompt if you want to read about the sales. Go ahead and hold down the control key, click. And there he is, the hyperlinks workbook that has our sales from California. That's sheet one, sheet two is Utah, sheet three, New York, and so on. And then when they're done, close out, no harm done. We're back to finish reading our document. Now, what about an external link? Well, let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. For more information, please visit us at, okay, well, how about if I just do my website, videotrainingpro.com. So I'll go ahead and type in the text. If you don't have any there, you can type in the URL, like www.videotrainingpro.com. And the moment I hit the space bar, it's going to do an autocorrect. In other words, it'll check what's behind it and see if it's a URL. And if it is, bing, it converts it to a hyperlink. So when I hover over it, in the pop-up, it's got the address there. That way you can verify that it's truly going to take me there when I hold down the control key and click on it. Because some people may actually type something and it may be referring to something else, which I'll actually show you right now. So we know that when we click on that, well, let's go ahead and hold down the control key, get the finger and click on it. Takes you to my website. Okay, go ahead and visit that and buy lots of training videos. Let's close out. Or we can go ahead and delete that. I know it's got nothing to do with essential oils, but if I sold essential oils on my website, well, I'd take you there. So how about we say 
something like for purchase. It doesn't have to be the URL that we can have the link. So if people want to purchase, exclamation point, we can go ahead and select that, convert it as a link to my website. With the selection, right click on it, go to hyperlink. I like shortcuts. The right click there, not having to come up here on the insert tab. And then with the existing file or web page selected, now we're not looking for a file, but we want to go right to an external website myvideotrainingpro.com address. So if I go ahead and just start typing it in, www, well, it remembers some other addresses, so we'll continue on typing to overwrite it, dot vid, there we go. It got it in, so if it looks good there and that's what we want, go ahead and click okie dokie. But keep in mind, well, okay, it's got the text to display that we can update or add a screen tip and say, and then click okie dokie and then click okie dokie so when they hover over it and get in the pop-up please buy and you can go ahead and hold down the control key click on it and it's the website okay close out cool so we have our internal and external links how about an email contact us now I can type in my name and then have the link of the name that when people click on it open up their email program so they can email us or I can just get rid of that colon there and just hyperlink the contact us part Sound good? All right. Right click on the selection, go to hyper, and then we want to come down below. We're skipping the other two for now and going to an email address. Oh, and look at that. Recently used email addresses. Oh, that's nice. And the text, contact us. I can change that and just say, hey, how about contact? And then the screen tip, please send us an email. When they hover over the link, click okie dokie. And then the email address, which will be me. And then when I start typing in me, it puts in the HTML code mail to colon. Leave that alone because without the HTML code, it won't work. So just keep typing. Don't let it spook us. Me at KurtKershaw.com. And then to help them out with the subject, maybe they need help with training videos or whatever you want to put in the subject, if anything at all, you know, to help them out. And then when you're done, go ahead and click OK. Hover over it. There's the pop-up. Please send us an email. Go ahead and hold down the control key and click. Opens up Outlook 2016. Well, for me, because I have it on my computer. And you can see it's addressed to me at kirkkrisha.com. The subjects help. Go ahead and, of course, type in the body of their message like, hey, I really need help with training videos because I don't know how to play one on my computer, etc. In any case, when you go ahead and click send, when you use Outlook 2016, it doesn't send it off. You have to actually click on the Start button to go to the Outlook 2016 program because it'll sit in the Out box until it actually sends it off, and there it goes. Or if you don't have it set up to automatically send when you open up Outlook, then you come up here and click on Send and Receive, and away it goes. In any case, you can watch my Outlook 2016 training video on it. Let's close out. Come back here, and let me do something else. Let me click at the end and hit enter a couple of times because you can also hyperlink objects, images, pictures, shapes, things like that. To do that, let's go ahead and do an online picture. Click on it. And Valentine's Day is coming up. It's all about the love, really. Let's go ahead and click on search. Oh, that's happy. Let's do this one right here. And that's got a little love. Click on insert. Ooh, not too bad. It's not too big. Of course, you can go ahead and hover over one of the resizing handles to click and drag and push it in. Because for us, when it comes to serving you, it's all about the love. Or at least on Happy Valentine's Day. So with it selected, you can go up on the Insert tab and go to Links and click on Hyperlink. Or when I click Cancel, you can right-click on it and also get the hyperlink. Same thing. So if you want to go ahead and have this go to an external website, internal, well, we know how to do that. How about some place within the document? Ooh, that'd be kind of kooky. Well, what's within our document? Do you have headings? Now, when it comes to headings, we talked about this in the Styles Training video. Not headings that we see, but actual headings that Microsoft Word sees as headings. And the only way to do that is to select the text, as I did here with Cure All Essential Oils, and apply the heading style to it in the styles group. In any case, you can watch my styles training video on it. So it sees it as a heading, Cure All Essential Oils, so I can go ahead and select that and link to it. So when somebody clicks on the love here, 
it goes to cure all essential oils. Well, let's just go to a bookmark and click okie dokie. Then click off. And then go ahead and hover over it. And you can see in the pop-up, you got the URL where it's going to take us to. On our computer, that is. Hold down the control key, click on it. And it takes us right to our heading. That, when I come up here and click on the Home tab, you can see it's a heading. So when you have heading styles applied to your headings, Word sees them as headings as well. And then you can use the advanced features, including hyperlinks here. And then finally, let me scroll down to my oils here. Let's take a look at basil. If I got more information that people might be interested in, but I don't want to add like paragraphs upon paragraphs, where I could actually have an entirely new document. So if they want more than the synopsis here, how about if we go ahead and do a hyperlink and right click on it, go down to hyperlink. And this time let's create a new document. Let's say we don't have another document created. This is something that I'm just going to do right now and say, hey, it's a good idea. I got more information coming to my mind. How about instead of typing it here, instead of closing out of Word or going backstage file to new to create a new document, you can do it here and not only create a new document, but have it linked right to it. So first off, after we've got create new document, the text to display, if you want to keep it as such, great. You can click on screen tip and say, learn more by clicking here. That sounds good. Click okie dokie. And then give yourself the name of the document, which, you know, if we got basil as a keyword, why not just go ahead and type in basil. And then down below, there's the path where it's going to put it. So when it creates it, it's going to put it on the desktop. If you don't want it on the desktop, then click change and maybe put it in the exercises folder. I'm going to click cancel, not do it there, but just keep it on the desktop. And when I click OK, when do I want to edit this? Do you want to edit it now or later? Let's do now and click okie dokie. There we go. The title of the document's Basil. I can go ahead and type in everything more that I know about Basil when I'm done. Go ahead and close out. Of course, that's on the desktop. But if I want to go and open it up again, hover over it. There's the pop-up. Learn more by clicking here. Hold down the control key, click. Opens it up again. You know, make changes, save it. And let me go ahead and close out of that. Minimize that down to the taskbar. And there's Basil right there. Now here's an ADD moment. Remember how we went ahead and we created a hyperlink new document uh, to the Basil document here? That if I hover over it, hold down the control key and click on it, ooh, it can't find it. If you ever come across that, then I've got a couple of thoughts. One, either somebody deleted it and it's no longer there, or somebody moved it. If they moved it, well, then happy days, you can go ahead and update the hyperlink to wherever it's at. And you can see when I minimize this down to the taskbar, the hyperlinks, I've got my document, but no basil to be found. Where is it at? It's in the exercises folder. Double click. And there it is right there. So I can either go ahead and move it back onto the desktop, in which case everything's good, and I'll be able to open it up through the link, or if I want to update the link, close out of that, come down below, restore my document, and right click to edit the hyperlink. And then I need to go out and find it. And it's in my exercises folder on the desktop, double click, and it's sorted alphabetically, basil, double click, and then I can go ahead and hold down the control key, click. Hey, it's back. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then finally, the other options that you get when you right click on a hyperlink besides editing, you can also open, copy the hyperlink if you want to paste it, or if you're like, hey, I'm done. I don't want anybody else learning more about basil. Click on remove. And there you go, it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.